Hey guys, thank you for joining us to learn how to set up and operate your dry gear unit. This is the compact unit, the DG3. It uses a one-phase power system. It's going to help you dehumidify to create optimal climate conditions in your growing facility. This is Yair. He'll be helping us out today. He's a certified dry gear technician and electrician. Before we get started, it is important for us to keep you safe. Make sure you read the operation manual and note the safety warnings before you begin. The first thing we'll need to do is to connect the unit to the electricity. Warning, only a certified electrician is authorized to connect the unit to the grid. Begin by opening the electrical compartment door. This is the electrical compartment. The main switch is over here, and this is the operating switch. You will find two lights here, a green light that is the run light and a red light that is the fault light. These help determine the running status of the machine. Up here we have the thermostat on the left and the humidistat on the right. The two white boxes on the side of the compartment control the fans. These are preset and shouldn't be adjusted. Before hooking up the unit to the main power supply, Verify that the external circuit breaker is turned off. Connect the main cable to the prepared external circuit breaker. Down at the bottom you will identify a covered compartment containing the electric wires. Remove this cover. Use a retractable utility knife to cut a small hole in the silver insulation layer on the left side of the compartment. Feed the power cable through this hole and into the electric compartment. Identify the grid connection terminal on the bottom row of the electric compartment. Connect the wires from the main power cable to L1, L2, and ground. When you're finished, it should look like this. You can return the cover back to the electric wire compartment. We are ready to power on. First, toggle the external circuit breaker to its on position. Now, toggle the unit main switch on. You will see the display on the thermostat and humidistat light up. During the first operation of the unit, you must wait two hours after powering the unit on before you can begin to operate it. While you're waiting, you can go ahead and install the air distribution model or canopy. Make sure that it is secure and stable. The next step is to connect the water drain pipe to the unit. During the unit's operation, water is condensed and needs to be removed from the unit. In some environments, depending on the air temperature and humidity, this may be a large quantity of water. To prevent water accumulation, the water drain pipe should be connected by a plumber to a drainage line leading outside the greenhouse or to any other place that the water can be collected, such as a container. To connect the drainage pipe, first remove the rear cover from the unit. Connect the prepared drain pipe with a siphon to the threaded 1.5 inch BSP bushing drain outlet. You can route the drainage tube through one of the three exits from the unit. The tube can be led out through the bottom from the floor beneath the unit. You also have the option of routing the drainage pipe out of the side cover or rear cover of the unit. You will find a pre-made circular cutout on these covers that can be removed simply with the use of a screwdriver and hammer. Once the cutout is out, run the tube through the hole. Once the tube is in place, return and secure the unit rear cover and route the drainage to the water collection location. Now we will set the desired relative humidity percentage or set point into the humidity controller. If you look at the display, you will see that the humidistat on the right shows the current relative humidity level that the sensor reads, 33.6%. To set the required humidity percentage, first press the set button once and the screen will display ST1. Once you release the set button, the default humidity set point will flash on the display screen. Using the up and down arrow buttons, Set the value to the required humidity percentage. Right now, the humidity set point Yair wants is 70%. Press the set button again to save the change, and the current humidity level that the sensor reads will be displayed on the screen. When operating the unit remotely with the use of a climate control system, 
you should also set the humidity set point into the climate control system. The unit will work based on the set point dictated by the climate control settings. Notice the two orange lights that appear on the screen on both sides of the relative humidity percentage. When these lights are on, the dry gear is currently receiving a command to dehumidify. The temperature controller is on the left. It comes preset by the manufacturer and shouldn't be adjusted. It will show you the temperature according to the unit sensor, which in this case is 22.5 degrees Celsius. Remember that when you first install the dry gear unit, you must wait two hours before you can begin to operate. Two hours have passed and now we are ready to begin. It has three operating modes. When set to zero, the unit is in disconnected mode and is off. When set to one, the unit is in local mode and operates according to the values set in the temperature and humidity controllers. When the unit is set to two, it's in remote mode and is operated and controlled by the climate control system. We will now turn the unit on to local mode. Toggling the switch will cause the green run light to turn on. Make sure that the red fault light isn't turned on. If it is, check the operation manual for troubleshooting. You will also notice that the fans have begun to work. If you choose to work using the remote operating mode, too, you will need to connect your climate control system to the unit. You can do this by connecting 24 volt AC cables to the relays shown here. Connection to numbers 40 and 41 will allow the system to remotely start and stop. Connection to numbers 42 and 43 will allow the system to send a remote drying command. Call your climate control expert for assistance in setting up the connection. All right, we're ready to go. Yair will now turn the unit on. Once your unit has been turned on, make sure to check the following to see that everything is in order. First, check to see that both fans are on and turning in the proper direction. You can do this by conducting a simple test. Take a sheet of paper and bring it towards the cooling coils on the outside of the machine. If the paper gets sucked towards the coils, it means that the fans are operating as they should be and drawing air in. If one or more of the fans is not working properly, consult the operating manual. Next, check to see that the compressor is operating. It should begin to work around 5 minutes after the machine is turned on. In the electric compartment, you will see a component labeled TD, time delay, which indicates the status of the compressor. A flashing green light means the timer is counting down. When both the green and yellow lights are on, the compressor is ready to start and is waiting for a command from the humidistat or climate control system to begin. When both lights are off, the compressor is on. You will be able to hear it running. Verify that the air distributed by the unit is not disturbing the plants. Lastly, wait 30 minutes after operating the unit and check to verify that the coils are fully wet and that water is flowing out of the unit drain. This means that dry gear is actively dehumidifying. Thanks for your attention. We wish you successful dehumidification and growing with your dry gear system.